What is happening with the Phillies Aces? Is Andrew Heaney truly fixed in Los Angeles? And is Nestor Cortez the best pitcher in New York? We're going to talk about all of that and more in today's Pitcherless Fantasy Baseball Update. Let's talk about baseball. We say hello once again to our pal Nick Pollock. Nick, what's happening? Here's an 0-2. What is happening? My name is Nick Pollock, founder of PitcherList.com. And yes, we are going to talk about everything that happened yesterday. And of course, some pitchers you should be sitting or maybe even starting today on April 18th, 2022. So yesterday we had some fantastic performances. Nestor Cortez against the Orioles. Five innings pitched, zero earned runs, three hits, one walk, 12 strikeouts. He even had an immaculate inning against the Orioles. It was incredible. And as somebody that was out on Nestor Cortez in the preseason, I kind of thought that a lot of what he did in the second half last year was a little bit of smoke and mirrors and the idea that he could pick up exactly where he left off here in 2022 was just not something I really wanted to chase, but the guy is doing it. His 89 to 92 mile per hour fastball is missing a lot of bats. His cutter command is pristine, and anybody that watched that game yesterday will tell you Nestor Cortez deserved every single strikeout that he got. The Yankees are generally a winning ball club. I mean, we, they've only seen about 30 runs scored in their first 10 games so far, but that should change moving forward. The Yankees are going to rely on Nestor Cortez, and hey, he's at 88 pitches now. It seems like a good situation to go jump and get Nestor Cortez whenever you could. Look, over the weekend on Saturday, he was only 25% rostered uh, across all your fantasy leagues. He might still be out there. Um, as far as Andrew Heaney goes, I, I could not believe what he is doing in LA. Not only did he learn a new pitch, but his command of that new slider is insane. Yesterday against the Reds, he earned a win with six innings pitch, zero and runs, one hit, three walks, and 11 strikeouts, 16 whiffs, 37% CSW. This is absurd. Now, we've seen Andrew Heaney before have some nice runs with changeups and curveballs and that fastball upstairs. This is way better than that. And generally, what, what happened is the command would go away. The fastball command wasn't very good yesterday. Didn't matter. The slider is just so pristine right now. So this new pitch is changing the game for Andrew Heaney. And the fact that he went six innings as a Dodger? In his second start of the year, I'm blown away by this. It's an amazing indication that there's more to come with Andrew Heaney. We can see this a lot, but I do warn you, there will be days. I, I, I can't imagine that after two days, Andrew Heaney is just fixed. This is who he is forever. I don't think that's the case. I think you're going to see some blowups here and there once that slider does not get all the strikes that it's getting right now. But still, this is just so good that it, you have to think that you should be picking up at every single league that you have and hoping it lasts for as long as possible. Um, then you go to Philly, and it's really, really tough there. We're going to talk about one of the other Philly aces today, or aces today, I should say. But Zach Wheeler has not had the ideal start of the season in the spring. He was delayed with a shoulder problem, and, uh, well... We didn't really, haven't really seen that get fixed yet. He went against Miami. We thought this would be a slam dunk. He got the loss in three innings, seven earned runs, eight hits, three walks, three Ks, six whiffs, 27% CSW on 66 pitches thrown. And the biggest problem here, Zach Wheeler went up to 97.2 miles per hour last season. He's down not to 95 like it was in that first start, but this was 94.4. I'm terrified. I would actually think that the Phillies are going to look at Wheeler and say, you are not ready right now. We need our ace, and you need time to rest to figure out what the issue is and put him on the IL. That's what I would do if I were on the Phillies. If they're not doing that, they must have a very good reason to believe that Zach Wheeler would be okay for his next outing. That's a tough call. He's going against the Brewers next. I don't know if I do want to start him for that. If you have Zach Wheeler... I'm scared, uh, and I, I hope that something points us in the right direction moving forward. All right, now let's get to today's streams. Before we do, consider hitting that like button and subscribe to this channel because I'm doing this every single weekday morning, and you don't want to miss this before your free agents go to waiver wires because the game start. Get this video before your lineups lock. So sit, start. For today, there are three guys that I have my third tier. If you want to see all 30 pitchers or every single pitcher today, go to pitchless.com and check out my SB streaming article right around 11 o'clock in the morning every single weekday morning. 
But we have three guys that what I consider my th third tier is the questionable start right teetering on. Should I actually be putting out them out there or not? We're going to start with Aaron Nola as he goes to Coors. And it is Coors and it's Aaron Nola. Both things that are not making you comfortable starting pitchers right now. But Aaron Nola, I, I have to believe, even though it is Coors, the curveball is still a very good pitch. He has generally very good fastball command. The changeup has not been terrible so far. This is a situation where you have to look at your entire week and think, do I need the strikeouts? But if I had to lean one way, I am leaning start for Aaron Nola. There are two other guys I really want you guys to be considering as well. The first is Eric Lauer, who did not do well in his first start of the season, allowed a grand slam to Cedric Mullins. But here's the thing, last year, Eric Lauer increased his fastball velocity to 92 plus, saw a swing strike rate of 15% on that pitch. What are we seeing right now? 94 to 95 mile per hour velocity. He wasn't at his peak last start. However, this is the Pirates. And I got to think, if you're looking for someone on the wire right now that could be a hot topic tomorrow or later this week or maybe on Sunday's fab run in your weekly leagues, it could be Eric Lauer if he dominates the Pirates tonight. I think it could happen. Be on the lookout for this one. You don't necessarily need to even start him if you pick him up here. Just pick him up, see how it goes if you want to be cautious against the Pirates, and then you'll feel good after this. Someone else to consider that I know a lot of people spent a lot of fab dollars last week on and were a bit disappointed as he faced the Guardians was Nick Lodolo, and now he goes against the Padres. Does not instill confidence. This is certainly a case where I want to be careful about Nick Lodolo out of the gate. Still, that slider just looks like Andrew Heaney's. Same exact thing, low arm angle from the left side as it goes down and into right-handers. He does it so well. We saw so many bad swings from the Guardians last week, and I think his command is way better. Last week, we saw the jitters of a rookie making his MLB debut. Nick Lodolo is way better than that. The Padres also haven't been the most overwhelming offense that we've seen. I think Lodolo might surprise a lot of us today. He is a sit just because of how bad it was last time, but I don't know if the command slowly fix it can really mess up your week. But if you're in a deeper league and you want to take some chances, Nick Ludo could have a very, very good start today. So that's it for today's Pitchless Fantasy Baseball Update. My name is Nick Palkin. Yes, you can follow me on Twitter at Pitcherless. Go to Pitcherless.com. It's got everything that you want. It's amazing. And I do this live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash slash Pitcherless, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. every single weekday morning. So come on by. Ask me all the questions that you have. But that's going to do it for today. So my name is Nick Pollock, And may your bats be low and your strike outside. We say hello once again to our pal Nick Pollock. Nick, what's happening? Here's the to end the game.